my name is Paul Grogan and welcome to another Gaming Rules solo playthrough video. In this video I am going to be playing through Star Wars Outer Rim. I am going to be playing as one character, in fact I'm playing as IG-88, uh, who is an assassin droid, I think. Uh, and I'm going to be playing against Feathers McGraw, from the Wallace and Gromit movies, obviously. Uh, and Feathers is going to be playing Han Solo. Now, quick note before I start this video, this is not a commissioned video. Uh, this is something that's been basically uh, supported through my Patreon campaign. So if you do like this video and you want to see more of the content that I create, then please consider supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. And thank you very much to everybody on the solo uh, gaming group on Facebook. Uh, they voted on this as the game that they wanted me to cover. And also to my patrons who voted on this game as one of the games that I would review in the month of June 2019. So I'm actually going to record the review of this at the end of this video. I'm going to be doing it as a separate video, uh, but basically I'll put a link in the show notes of this video so that you can go to my review. So this game is just going to be a solo playthrough, as I mentioned, uh, published by Fantasy Flight Games in 2019. Uh, I think it was officially released at UK Games Expo, which is really good that Fantasy Flight Games, uh, you know, now treat UK Games Expo as like a serious gaming convention, which it is but they chose to release the game there, along with the new Keyforge as well. Anyway, I'm blabbing. Um, now, I've played this game a few times already. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the rules, but I have the trusty rulebook with me. So, at any point that I do something that's wrong, please let me know. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to annotate this video with some Klingon subtitles. So if you are watching this video on YouTube, then please turn on the Klingon subtitles, because anything that I do wrong, or any rules mistakes that I make, I will be putting the annotations in there. Uh, that's about it. What have I done? I've said thank you very much to my Patreon supporters for making this video possible, and let's crack on. So, solo game setup. Basically, I'm going to be playing the short game today, so it's going to be the first one to eight fame. I'm not going to be teaching the rules of the game, but obviously, if you don't know how to play by watching this video, you'll probably pick up most of it anyway. Uh, now, where are my glasses? Because old age... My sight's going, and there's a lot of text on these cards that I'm going to struggle to read. Um, basically, we take it in turns, and I've started out. I'm going to put the glasses on now, actually. Um, my first objective that I have drawn is data bank card number 90. So I have a bounty. So I start on the planet Ryloth, so I'm here, and I have a bounty uh, to get Lobot, who is one of the guys, I think, from Empire Strikes Back. Um, basically, I can either eliminate him or capture him and take him to Cantonica. Now, I don't know where he is, but I know that he's one of the, the ones with the white dot. So it's either that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, or that one. That's my initial uh, bounty that I've got to do. And Han Solo, who I'm playing against, will be going second. And Han has got some cargo that he needs to take to the Ring of Kafreen, uh, which is here. Uh, so I go first, I go, I go first, and on my turn, I do the planning step. So let's just jump straight into it. Do I want to move my ship, gain 2,000 credits, or recover all of my damage? Well, I don't need to recover all of my damage. I am here. Um, and basically, yeah, I don't know where he is. So I have a choice. Do I want to move? Now, my movement range, I've chosen the G1A Starfighter. Uh, my movement range is five. So, I mean, I could get to Naboo because there are no, none of those contacts here. So I could get to Naboo and have a look at this one. Um, or do I want to just start at this end? Because the problem is, if I go this way, and then it turns out he's here, that's going to be a real pain. So I think I might just go here and, and go through them one by one. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to choose to move. So I move up to my hyperspace value of five. I'm going to move there, which is three. Right, now it's the action step. In the action step, you can do any or all of the following. I can deliver cargo and bounties. Can't do that. Market action if on a planet. I am on a planet. Uh, this is Old Mantel. So basically, you can buy one of these six cards. But before I buy one of them, I can put the top card of one of the decks to the bottom, cycle it, um, and then see what is available next. So let's have a look through this one. Uh, now I start with 4,000 credits, because I'm the start player. So I can't have that one. This one is a job. And the job requires either ground or ship combat. Now, my combat value is four. I'm pretty good at combat, so I could take on that job. I am allowed to have two jobs and bounties, so that's fine. I've got some cargo, which cannot buy on Nal Hutter, which is fine. Destination Nal Hutter, which is here. Okay, so that gets me a bit of money. Uh, a targeting computer, 
which basically allows me in a ship combat to re-roll my blank dice. I have another job here, which is the Kessel Run. Now this is really hard to do, as you can imagine, it's the Kessel Run. It requires influence, strength, tactics, knowledge and piloting. Now you don't need all of those skills. You really need the ones in italics, which is influence and strength. I have strength and tech. I'm not going to take that on just yet. And if I had 10,000 credits, I could buy a heavy duty lifter. Uh, look, let's just check something in the rules, make sure I've got that correct. I think I have. Market action. Uh, yeah, regardless of when... So, yeah, when you choose a market deck, discard the top card of the deck, you may. Uh, and then you can buy a card. Yeah, so that's basically it. So which of those do I want? Do I want that job there, which is destination, a space containing another player that has at least one negative reputation. Now, the reputation marks, neither of us started with any change to our reputation. So that job right now would be absolutely useless because I can't actually do it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cycle this job. So I'm gonna put that to the bottom and we get a new one and it is a bounty. It's another bounty. Oh, it's a bounty on Chewbacca, brilliant, who has a combat strength of six. Uh-oh, my combat strength is only three. Oh yeah, that's hit points, that. So my grand combat strength is three. So I probably don't want to try and take on Chewbacca because he's too tough. So I'm not going to take that card. I'm not going to take the Kessel Run. Uh, let's just take some food supplies. So this costs 1,000 credits, as you can see. Uh, my ship has only space for one cargo and I spend 1,000 credits. And we're done. That's the market action done. Oh, and now we reveal a new card. And if there's something here, one of the patrols will move. Okay, there isn't. So one of the patrols isn't moving. Um, trade cards with another player in your space. Not going to do that. Right, now it's the encounter step. And in the encounter step, you can do one thing. You can fight a patrol. You can resolve an encounter card or resolve a contact token. So I could choose to resolve this contact token or I could resolve one of these cards. I'm going to resolve this contact token. And it is a Black Sun agent. And it's data bank card number five. So I think you get card number five. Uh, resolving a contact. Yeah, retrieve the data bank card listed on the contact. Read the top section and resolve its ability, and it may become a crew. So we go for data bank card number five. Now I've not sleeved these. I've sleeved all of the cards that you shuffle, but I haven't sleeved these because you never shuffle them. Um, you just take out the one you want. Right, data bank card number five is Black Sun Agent. Black Sun has agents everywhere. The network of connections is the syndicate's greatest strength. If you have negative syndicate reputation, which I don't, test del blah, 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 right. If you have positive or neutral syndicate reputation, you may test influence. And if you pass, gain the crew below and discard Black Sun's agent token. If you would fail, you can spend 2,000. So I get a free influence test. Right. Infl tests are always two dice. But what you need depends on uh, what skills you've got. So I am currently unskilled. I don't have influence at all. So basically I need one of the critical successes in order to pass. And I did not get one of the critical successes. So if I wanted to, I could pay 2,000 2, credits to get this crew member. Now, do I want 2,000 credits for this crew member? Because he's gonna provide me with the skill stealth and I don't actually need the skill stealth at the moment. So I think I'm probably not gonna do that. No, I don't think I will. So that card goes back in the deck, but actually I'm just gonna put it here uh, because then I remember what that is. Um, and that is my turn done. Yeah, that is my go done. So play passes to the AI player, Fe Feathers McGraw playing hand solo. And what you do on the solo player's turn, I read these quickly this morning. Basically you reveal, um, play your turn as, turn as normal, then resolve, simply draw the top card of the AI deck. So the AI deck and then you do the planning step. Do the first that applies. If defeated, no. Move towards closest goal. So Han's starting goal was to deliver some vehicle parts to the Ring of Kafreen, which is here. Now, the base movement of the G9 Rigger, and the, the AI play always starts with the G9 Rigger, is increased by two because of Han Solo. So when you, with the AI player only score, only does some of their abilities. And in fact, the speed modifications do apply. The personal goal doesn't. So Han Solo is going to move eight in his G9 rigger and he can actually get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can get all the way there. So he moves towards the closest goal. Then action step, do all that apply. If at cargo destination, deliver it. Right, so he delivers that cargo uh, and gets 5,000 credits. Off to a good start. 
uh, that card will go back in. I say you never shuffle them, but actually, number 91, there are three of them. So whenever you take a 91, you take, yeah, you choose one of those cards at random. Um, right, now he's going to buy one of, what's he going to buy? One of those, because it says here. Now, does he cycle the top card of the deck first? Buying. Before buying, the AI player will discard the top card of the deck if any of the following apply. The card cannot be bought on the current planet. No. They do not have enough credits. No. They do not have enough empty slots. That's a mod. They do have enough empty slots. Um, they are buying from the ship deck. No. The AI player will spend the required credits to buy the top card of the market deck and then place the card in an open slot. Okay. So, he's going to buy it. 2,000 credits. Let's get some change. One, two, three. Uh, and Han Solo has bought the targeting computer, which goes on his G9 rigger. Makes him basically better in combat. Okay, reveal the top card of this deck. Uh, and again, no patrol movement. Right. Uh, next, encounter step. Do the first that applies. If negative reputation matching a patrol in this space, no. If at a job destination, complete it, no. Third one, spend 8,000 credits to gain one fame. Well, there we go. He has 8,000 credits. She spends that, gains one fame. He's off to a good start. He's beating me by one. And that's it. That's the AI player's turn. So it's back to me. Uh, what am I going to do? I didn't find that there. So I think I'm going to go to Naboo and try and find Lobot. So one, two, three, four. I can make four. Yep, yeah, because I can move five. So first of all, I have the market phase. Do I want to buy some of this stuff? Uh, are there any, there's no gear, because I could do some gear to increase my combat strength, but when I have to fight Lobot, um, the noise in the background is one of our cats, Thor, playing with the dice that I've left him in the corridor. Loves dice, absolutely loves dice. Um, definitely not a Euro gamer, yeah. He says, being a Euro gamer, playing a game with dice. Anyway, what are we gonna buy? I've got 3,000 credits. I could buy a shield upgrade. I could take on another bounty. Oh no, that's Chewbacca. I could cycle that. It's a smuggling compartment. That's good for smuggling illegal cargo. I am not planning to do that at the moment, but I might do that another time. We will see. No, I'm gonna cycle this bounty because that, I'm never gonna do that, not with six strength. And we found another bounty. And this time, oh, it's almost as bad. <laughs> to find Hera Sindulla whoever she is. Um, Star Wars fans are probably screaming at the screen right now. It looks like it's a character from possibly one of the animated Clone Wars or something. Don't want to take the Kessel Run. I don't, want to, I don't have to buy one, but I kind of want to because you can always barter up. So whenever you buy something, you don't actually lose, you know, if I bought this smuggling compartment, which I'm going to do, I'm going to spend 2000 credits. I'm going to buy the smuggling compartment, which goes here. Whenever I buy anything else, I can basically barter this and you get your cash back. So you can't sell it for 2,000, but you can barter it for a higher level item. Um, right, reveal the top card of the deck and still no patrol movement. Right. Oh, and there's the illegal cargo. Right. Now we have my encounter step uh, and I am going to resolve this contact token and it is Lobot. Yes, found him. Now, if you... I don't think you draw the card. This is what I got wrong the last time I played. Contact, encountering a contact. Retrieve the data bank card, read the top section. Okay, so it says you do, but actually bounties, I think, are slightly different. Bounties. Further, you need to find the contact. Each contact token has a class on its back, etc., etc. Right, normally, when you would encounter a contact, you draw and resolve that contact database card. However, if the contact token matches one on your bounty card, you can instead of drawing the contact's databank card, choose to fight it. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, interestingly enough, what you can do is you can choose to take the card, and you can actually recruit the guy get him on your ship, use him, and then later on, then fight him. But that's a separate action. So I'm gonna to choose to fight him, um, and let's do the combat. So the combat, this is a uh, personal, it's ground combat, it's not ship, 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 ship combat. He's got two, I've got three, I don't have any mods, so let's just refresh myself on combat. Basic rules are simple, the attacker rolls dice equals the combat value. Um, and then the defender rolls that. Right, so I get three dice. Now I do have some nice rolling trays from Troll Hound Games and I can't find them. I had a tidy up last month, so I'm using this instead. Right, I get three dice and I've got, wow, that's a critical success. 
and two normal successes, so I've scored four. Lobot scores three. Wow, really good, but I beat him. So I have a choice. I can now eliminate him and get 5,000 credits and one fame, or I can capture him, and then I have to go to Cantonica, oh, which is back over here. I get 10,000 credits and one fame. Now, quick note, I am not using the fixed setup. Normally there's a fixed setup of these. I've used a random setup uh, just for a little bit more variability, which I think is fine. I don't think it changes things that much. Um, I don't really want to go back here right now. So I'm just going to choose to eliminate him. So that token is removed from the game. Gone. This card is removed from the game. I get 5,000 credits and I get one fame. That might have been the wrong thing to do, but we will see. It's the decision you need to make. Do you want to eliminate him or capture him? We will see. Right. And that is my encounter step done. So we're now over to Han Solo. Right. What is Han Solo going to do in the planning step? Uh, if defeated, recover all damage. Move towards closest goal. Oh, that goal sh token should have gone. Han Solo doesn't currently have any goals. So he just gains 2,000 credits. Um, is that it? Is he not moving anywhere? No, he's no goals. So he doesn't move anywhere. Right. Action step. If at cargo destination, no. Right. Buy one of those, which is one of these. Can he buy it? Yes. And it's a job. Okay. So he's going to take on the Kessel run. Okay. So Han Solo is going to take on the Kessel run. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Um, it's great how a lot of the theme comes out in this game. So that doesn't cost him anything. Now, the bad news for me is that when the AI player completes a job, they don't have to do any of the tests whatsoever. If I did that, it'd be an absolute nightmare. But the AI player cheats and basically can always do it. Um, so that's not great for me because he's going to get a lot of stuff on there. Uh, right, that was the action step. Oh, place a gold token on the destination. So Han Solo wants to go to Kessel to do the Kessel run. Right, reveal the new card from the deck. And we have a patrol movement. So the Huts, I think that's the Huts. Yep, the Huts patrol moves three spaces. One, two, it just moves towards you. So it doesn't attack you right away, but I think it just moves and it doesn't move any further. Um, patrol movement moves towards you. Yeah, so it, it stops when it gets to you. So the hut patrol has arrived here. Right, uh, is that it? Oh no, encounter step. Uh, if negative reputation, might no. Spend 8,000 to gain one fame. Hasn't got 8,000. Reveal the face down contact token of the lowest class on this planet and gain the crew card for free. Free? Right. So he gains this one. So this is W1LE. So that counter gets removed from the game temporarily because we get card number 22 and he just gains the crew. He doesn't have to do any tests whatsoever. So he's got W1LE. Most droids are rather high strung. A rather high strung, rather high. Is that a typo on an FFG card? Can't be. Uh, should, I think it should be highly strung. Anyway, so W1LE's laid back demeanor and easy charm are a pleasant surprise. Um, anyway, he's got that as a crew member. There you go. Done. Um, yeah, that's it. Right, back to me. Where am I going to go? Well, I've got a smuggling compartment. I only have. Oh no, smuggling compartment. Place this in a cargo slot. You can also have one cargo in this slot, and there is some illegal cargo here, which wants to be delivered to Cantonica. Uh, Cantonica? Cantonica? Don't know. Let me know in the show notes how I should pronounce it. Cantonica sounds better. Cantonica? Cant uh, anyway, Cantonica. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't get back there in one move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that would be the quickest way. Um... Do I want to just stay here, where I am, and pick up this illegal cargo here? I think I do. So I'm not going to move. So instead, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just going to gain 2,000 credits by selling some old VHS videos of um, Golden Girls or something. Um, action step. Right, action step. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to pick that up. So I'm going to spend 2,000 credits. I'm not going to cycle a card. I am just going to take that. And because of my smuggling compartment, it can go in the smuggling compartment. So I have a stolen prototype. Naughty boy. 
and we have these uh, the imperial one moves three towards with me one two three right so the imperial patrol is after me um and i think that an encounter oh yeah that was the that was the action step so now it's the encounter step what do i want to do on naboo i think i'm going to have a card now the bottom of the card you see here it says naboo cargo and reputation so it gives you an idea of what kind of things are in here now i don't actually want cargo at the moment so actually, I think I'm going to encounter this contact token instead. What do we have? We have Leia Organa, uh, data bank card number 17. What's she doing out here? Okay, so Leia Organa. Uh, in a time of fear, we have only one weapon left, hope. Fortunately, that is all we require. If you have positive or neutral rebel reputation, which I do, you may discard Leia Organa's token and gain the job below. Ooh. I can get a job. If you do not gain the job, you may spend 2,000 credits to gain one rebel reputation. So the job is a rebel prison break. Oh, wow. Right, it needs stealth, ship combat, piloting, and then ground combat. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll take it on. Yeah, let's take it on. I think you can get rid of them at any time. So that goes there. Um, and yeah, Leia's token is discarded. I am where I'm working for the rebels. Okay, I've got a job to do a rebel prison break. Um, I need to do a rebel prison break at the Imperial Patrol's space. So that's here. So basically, somebody is on there. It's probably Leia. No, no, Leia was there. Leia's told me to go and rescue somebody who is there. And I need to do, I need stealth first, which I don't have, but there's a crew member here that's got stealth. Ooh. Uh, then I need to do some ship combat. And my ship combat is three, and that is three. Although I do have once per combat, you can re-roll any number of your dice, because I'm awesome. Then I need piloting, which I haven't got. And then there's ground combat. Hmm, okay, so I might need to tool up a little bit before doing that job. But anyway, that was that, and that was my turn. Han Solo's turn. Do the first that applies, what do we have now? We still don't have anything. He still doesn't have another goal. So he's just going to gain 2,000 credits. Action step. Uh, if all cargo slots are full, buy one of those. They're not. Otherwise, buy one of those and place a gold token on the car's destination. Right, so he's going to buy this. He's going to buy some stolen weapons. Cost him 2,000 credits. Now, that's illegal. But again, the AI player doesn't have the role for delivering illegal cargo. So cheating. Right, that's that done. Reveal the top card of the deck, and we have the Hut Patrol moves three. But the Hut Patrol is already on hand space, so it doesn't move. Uh, what is he going to do in the encounter step? Uh, he doesn't have negative reputation with the Hut, so he doesn't fight the patrol. Not at the job destination. Can't spend 8,000 credits to gain a fame. Right, back to me. I'm not going to do this prison break back uh, just yet. I need to go to both Nal Hutter to deliver that and Cantonica to deliver that. One, two, three, four. Let's go to Nal Hutter first. So I'm going to go, I'm going to move here. That's my movement. Uh, then in the action step, I'm going to deliver cargo. So I'm going to deliver this, these food supplies to Nal Hutter. I gain one hut reputation because they like me. And I gain 5,000 credits. Uh, and that card, I believe, goes to the bottom of the deck. That's that done. Uh, now I can buy something. Do I want to buy some of these? So I've got another bounty here. No, that's still not good. Um, can we buy a ship? Oh, we can buy a ship. Now it's faster, but it doesn't have more combat strength. And I'm not sure whether I want, it does have space for three crew though. Do I want anything else? What's this one? Influence, knowledge, and tactics. I don't have, I don't have any of those skills, so I'm not going to take that job. Uh, the shield upgrade is quite nice, but I've already got a mod on my ship. I don't really want this bounty just yet because it's quite tough. Oh, I can afford an undercover agent. That's a crew member. It's got stealth. Okay, I probably don't. Eh. I mean, he's got a special ability as well, which is nice. But ten thousand credits. 
for a crew member with stealth when I'm probably going to go here and recruit the Black Sun agent. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that. So, um, let's cycle that bounty card. And instead, we have a new bounty to capture Ziton Modge, who's also really tough. Um, okay, I don't want to be taking them on just yet. So I am going to buy... I am going to buy... Ooh! Go on, let's buy a ship. I'm going to buy the Heavy Duty Lifter. There's a reason for that. So let's get the Heavy Duty Lifter from here. Heavy Duty Lifter, there it is. So basically everything... Everything switches over. So I keep my money. That goes over there. And the reason why I've switched early, I think this card goes out of the game. Yeah, remove this card from the game. Is every ship that you buy has a ship goal. And as soon as you do that ship goal, you get a bonus. So as well as it being a slight improvement on my ship, I now have a goal of if you have at least one cargo, which I do, complete a job to gain one fame and flip this sheet. Right, so I need to complete a job whilst having a cargo but I'm not going to be able to do the job just yet. Flip that over, we have a used ship for sale. Right, that was my action step. My encounter step, what am I going to do at Nalhutter? Um, do I want a card? Now, what are the cards at Nalhutter? Credits and bounties. Yeah, let's take a card. Right, Nalhutter. If you have positive or neutral hut reputation, I do, they love me. In the city of Bulbosa, loan sharks are willing to give you money for just about anything. You may lose one hut reputation to gain 5,000 credits. Let's do it. Spend a reputation, gain 5,000 credits. Awesome. Right, okay, so that's that done. And that is my go done. Right, over to Han Solo, Feathers McGraw. Uh, again, still doesn't, oh no, he does have a goal now. Yeah, he wants to go to, Oh, in fact, he should have had a goal last time. I did this wrong. Sorry, he should have had a goal. He had the Kessel run. Ah, I did that wrong. Apologies for that. Uh, but he's also got a goal to go to Tatooine as well. And that is his closest goal. So, yeah, made a mistake there. Never mind. Moves eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it moves towards nearest destination. Yeah, I forgot he had the Kessel run. Uh, if cargo destination, deliver it. Right, so he delivers it, and if the cargo is illegal, the character suffers two damage. Right, so although he delivers it for free, the character suffers two damage, and Han Solo can take four damage. So that card is delivered, and he gets 7,000 credits and one fame. Bop, bop. 7,000 credits. There you go, 7,000 credits, one fame for delivering the stolen cargo. That goes on the bottom of the deck. Uh, right, then he buys one of these, and he can buy that, that is another job, he can have two jobs, look, he's now got another job, rooting out spies, okay, destination, Takadana, which is here, okay, so he's got two jobs, need to remember that next time, one on Kessel, one on Takadana, encounter step, uh, doesn't have that. If at a job destination, complete it. No, spend 8,000 credits to gain one fame. He has 8,000 credits. So he's on three fame and I'm on one. Right, need to catch up. Done? Done. My go. Where am I going to go? I am going to go back to Cantonica. I'll basically change the pronunciation every time I say it. That'll work, won't it? Um... Now this is interesting because I have a another special ability. I can take a droid crew from another player in your space. This is what I like about the player interaction in this game. If I go to Tatooine, which is where Han Solo is, with W1LE, who's got influence, I don't need influence, but if I could go there and literally, as an action, just take that crew, uh, which is very thematic. And my personal goal is to have two droid crew members. Oh, I'm so tempted. I am so tempted to do that, is just go there and steal it as an action. I mean, that's in the action step, and you can do as many actions as you want, so it isn't going to cost me my turn to do it. I still get to do all of the other stuff. Oh, I should have revealed this. Uh, the Imperial Patrol moves four, which is this one. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's interesting, because 
I have a job to do that, but actually I don't want to do that just yet because I don't have the skills. Hmm. I think let's do that. Yeah, let's let's move. Let's go and see Han Solo on Tatooine. Uh, and then as, as an action, I'm just going to take a droid crew from another player in your space. So I'm just going to take it. There you go. I have that. Nice. What else can I do as an action? Uh, I can do a market action. Um, I could buy some more cargo. Except it needs to go to there. That's miles away. Um, there's a job here. Doing a job for the Empire, which requires tactics, which I don't have. Um, where was the job that had influence? Ah, it's got, gone now, hasn't it? Um, let's switch this other bounty. Or do we want this stealth one? I need stealth. Oh, but I was going to go there and get stealth. Yes, that's what. Let's get rid of this one. This is the luxury deck. Everything in here is really expensive. 15,000 credits. Extravagant wardrobe, 15,000 credits. <laughs> um, interesting. While you have two or three positive reputations, you get an additional one fame. And if you have all four positive reputations, you get another two fame. That's quite cool. Um, but yes, very out of my price range. Um, do I want to buy any of these? Do I want that other bounty? I don't think I do. Do I want that job? I don't think I do. I can't buy that because it's a mod. So. Okay, well, let's. It's only a grand. And as I say, I can always barter it up later on. I'll reveal this, and the Rebel Patrol moves four. Boom, 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 boom. Right, Rebel Patrol is on Ryloth. Uh, so that's my action step done. My encounter step, I can either draw a card from Tatooine, which is what? Fighting players or finding contacts, or I can look at one of those two. I'm going to look at this one. And this is uh, Saw Guerrera. Right, data bank card number 21. Let's see what Saw wants. Okay. Even the Rebel Alliance finds Saw Gerrera too extreme. If you are Jin Urso, you may gain the crew below and discard this token. If you are not Jin Urso and you have negative reputation with the Rebels or positive reputation with the Imperials, you have to test stealth. No. If you did not test stealth, you may test influence. And if you pass, you may gain the crew below and discard Saw Gerrera's token. Right. Do I have influence? I do, because I've got W1LE. Awesome. So because I have the skill, Critical successes or successes count. So I just need a critical success or a success. And I got two blanks. Oh, well. Um, Saw Guerrera is there on Tatooine. Waiting to be collected. So I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to tuck it in there. Right. That's my encounter step done. So now it is over to Han Solo. Right. Move towards closest goal, which I think is Kessel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight. Whereas Takadana is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, they're both eight away. So if it's equidistant, I guess I choose. Let's have a look. Uh, moving. If it can move along two different paths and both are equidistant from the goal, no. Uh, Hmm. Always move towards the nearest goal token on the map. If their space contains a goal, they do not move. Uh, basically, if there's multiple paths, they take the one that is the quickest, but it doesn't say what to do unless I've missed it. So I'm just going to choose. So I'm going to choose that it goes to Takadana instead of Kessel. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as move to Takadana, then do all that apply. If job slot's full, so if, if at cargo destination, deliver it. No, right. If job slot's full, yes, buy one of these. So it buys this. So it's picked up some salvage. Cannot buy on Mon Calamari. Yeah, so it buys that. Uh, it has a thousand. So that goes. Uh, place a gold token on card's destination. Yep. Yeah. 
Don't forget that. That would be silly. Mon Calamari. Where's that? There. Then, uh, not on a patrol. If at a job destination, complete it. Right. I'm at job destination. And the AI completing jobs is... Yeah. Simply resolves the reward section of the job card. Don't draw a data bank card. Do not perform any tests. There you go. Cheaty McCheaterson. So, routing out spies, uh, the reward is gain 5,000 and one fame and remove this card from the game. So gain a fame, gain 5,000, remove the card from the game. Right, there you go. That's the job done. Now it's me. Where was I? I was there. I was stealing droids, wasn't I? I'm now going back this way because I need to deliver some the stolen prototype to Cantonica. Um... Yeah, and I'm going to pick up this Black Sun agent. So we need to move this way. What's my movement? Six. Uh, and I need to do a job while having a cargo. So one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's go to Naboo. You can end your turn on a waypoint and then you get a nav point and then you get one of these cards instead. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to go to Naboo. Oh, should have revealed one of those. Sorry. Rebel Patrol moves three. Who was that towards? It was towards Han, wasn't it? One, two, three. Do we go this way? One, two, three. We'll go that way. Right, so. Uh, yeah, so I get a market action. Again, I can buy one of these cards. What do we want to buy? Or what do we want to cycle? Um, I mean, I only have 5,000, so cycling this card isn't great. Let's cycle this bounty again. Let's see if we can get an easier one. It is another bounty. And this time it's a bounty on Boshek which I'm going to take because I've more chance of doing that than another one. There we go. I didn't have to take that card. I could have taken one of the other ones if I wanted to. Um, I could have taken some stolen hyper fuel, actually. I'll do that next time. Uh, none of the bounty is revealed and the Imperial Patrol moves three, which is good. I want that to move towards me because I have a job to do there once I've got the right skills. Right, encounter step. Uh, I can't encounter a contact there because there isn't one there. Um, I do have an encounter ability here. Perform a market action, even if you are at an off point. Or performed it. So I can basically do another market action because of W1LE. Or I could take the Naboo card, which is cargo and potentially Imperial Reputation. Well, I don't need any additional cargo. But I could always ditch some cargo if I didn't want it. Or I can perform a market action for free. Uh, now, I've already got two jobs, bounties. So I can't really do that. Can't really do that. No, let's just have a card. So this is a Naboo card, and we have a farmer needs help disarming an unexploded boomer from a bygone battle on her farm. You may test tactics. I don't have tactics. Mm. If you pass, gain one Imperial reputation. If you've already had an Imperial Reputation, gain a fame instead. If you fail, your character suffers three damage. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Sorry, Mrs. Miggins, but uh, I, I don't have the... I don't have the tactics skills. Could have done if I'd have got... Yeah, anyway, right, so I say no. Thank you very much. So that goes to the bottom of the deck. And that is my go done. Right, over here, that should have gone. Oh, no, that's my goal. Right. Um, I'm not sure if you should use these gold tokens in a solo game, because they're supposed to track the AI, but I'm going to anyway. Right, so he's going to Kessel. He's also going to Mon Calamari. Mon Calamari is nearer, so he goes one, two, three, four. Uh, did I draw a card? I didn't draw a card. Nope, I don't think I drew a card. Right, so... So always this, the top bit is always the same. Right, bottom bit. If at cargo destination, deliver it. Yes. So it delivers that. Uh, delivering some salvage. Gains a rebel reputation. Well, it is Han Solo. Gains 5,000 credits. That goes to the bottom of the deck. There we go. That can be removed. Uh, and then buys a ship. Right. What's this? Buy any ship sheet from the supplier that costs more than your current ship. Well, current ship costs nothing. Place the, ship, uh, place the sheet on its ship goal side as normal and the ship suffers three damage. If the ship's card has not been removed from the game, search the market deck. Right, so basically buy any ship sheet 
from the supply that costs more than your current ship. I don't know which one I should buy. Does it spend all of its money? Let's have a look in the rules reference. Uh, jobs and cargo buying. If the AI buys the used ship for sale card, it will follow all abilities on the card and chooses to buy the most expensive ship it can afford. If there are multiple ones, choose randomly. So, got 10,000 credits, well, 11,000 credits. So it's not gonna buy that one. It can't buy the modified YT-1300 light freighter. It could buy the Valorous. It can't buy that. Can't buy that. Is there one for 10? Yeah, there is one for 10. So it buys this one. So this is the Lancer class pursuit craft. Yeah, that's what it buys. There we go. So that goes there. That goes there. Oh, don't lose the money. And we take out the Lancer craft, Lancer class pursuit craft from the deck because it's gone. Then shuffle this card back into this deck. There you go. Now, again, ships have a ship goal, but the AI player doesn't get ship goals. So he's just got uh, a slightly better ship. It's better in combat. Reveal the top card of the deck. Right, that's the next one that's available. So he's done that. Oh, and that cost him the 10,000. Yeah, definitely pay for it. That would be even more cheating. Encounter step. Uh, negative reputation on a patrol, no. If job destination, no. Gain 4,000 credits, then lose one reputation with this planet's faction, if any. Okay. So he's done some nasty little naughty job. Gain 4,000 credits. That is a rebel planet, so he loses one rebel reputation. There you go. Back to neutral. Right, over to me. What am I going to do? I was heading towards Cantonica. So I will. Now, that moves me through this rebel patrol, but because I'm not negative with them, I can do that. My movement is six. Uh, can I get there? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, can I go the other way? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So I've moved. Next, deliver cargo and bounties. Right, I've delivered cargo. Normally, because this is illegal cargo, I have to roll a die. But because I'm using a smuggling compartment, whenever you are rolling a die, you may turn a blank result to a star. So I get to roll the dice. Oh, right. So it wasn't a blank result. Can't do that. Can't do that. I can't do that. So I have to resolve card one. Now there are four card ones. So I basically choose one of these at random. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's this one. Right, if you have negative reputation with a patrol in your space, no. Otherwise, resolve the section below that matches the result rolled for the cargo. So I rolled the I. I here. Right, now there is the matter of your docking fee and the refueling fee and the gratuity. Deliver the cargo, lose one hut reputation unless you spend 6,000 credits. Then end your turn. Well, my, oh, okay. Right. So I deliver the cargo. Fine. So I've delivered the stolen prototype. I gain 7,000 credits. 7,000 credits and a fame. Finally, two fame. So that's that. But then, because of this, I either lose a hut reputation or spend 6,000 credits. And then I end my turn whichever way. So I'm going to choose to lose a hut reputation. And yeah, that's it. And my turn is over. So I don't get to do the encounter step. That's a bit of a shame. But I have delivered some cargo and I did get some money. I still want another droid. And I still want to go there. Right, over to the AI player, flip the card over, move towards closest goal, which is the Kessel Run. I think. Yeah. Why is there a token on Tatooine? Have I done this wrong? No? What am I missing? Have I got something for Tatooine? Am I being stupid? I can't remember why there is a gold token on Tatooine. Because Han Solo only has a job for the for the Kessel run. I have. I have a job which is there, and I also have 
some cargo to go here. So I don't know why that's there. I'll have to re-watch the video later on and try and remember why I put that there. No, can't see anything. Anyway, let's move on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to do the Kessel Run. Movement of eight, can I get there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't get there. I think I can choose which way to go, but it's probably gonna be this way. One, two, three, four, five. Can you go through that one? That's a Imperial patrol. Yeah, six, seven, eight. Now there is a rule that when the AI player moves, uh, if it would end their movement on a nav point space after moving a number of spaces equal to their hyper hyperdrive value, they will move one or two fewer spaces if doing so allows them to end their movement on a planet instead. So instead of moving the full eight, it will only move six and land on Nal Hutter. Right, do the following that apply. If at cargo destination, deliver it. No, buy one of these. And it can, can afford it. So it buys cargo to deliver to the Ring of Kafreen. There you go, cost 3,000 credits. Spent, reveal the new card. We have the Imperial Patrol moves four. Well, the Imperial Patrol is here, so it just moves to here. Next, encounter step. Uh, if at job destination complete it, no. Spend 8,000 credits to gain one fame. No, none of that. And then special, discard the top card of this deck and that deck and then shuffle this AI card back into the AI deck. So that gets discarded. I guess we reveal the new one, but we don't do the patrol thing. Okay, interesting, just cycles the cards. Uh, shuffle this AI card back into the AI deck. Now, does that mean that gets shuffled into there? Or do I shuffle the whole deck? Um, Gaining crew, deck. Not sure whether I just shuffle it into this deck or that deck. Let's just have a look at some of the other cards. Are there any other specials? Right, there are no other specials. So I'm gonna treat that as the reshuffle of the whole deck. Whether that's right or not, I will find out later when somebody puts in the comments below I did it wrong, but that's what I'm gonna do for this game. Done, back to me, I'm on Cantonica. I wanna go here and I wanna pick up this person. So let's just do it. Because I need stealth and I have the money. So let's go one, two, so I've moved there. My market action is going to be, can I, I can buy some more cargo, but I want illegal cargo. Now I've got a smuggling compartment. I want some more illegal cargo. I actually need some more droid crew. Where do I get droid crew from? Um, I need C-3PO and R2-D2, wherever they are. I can't, oh, I could buy this. Oh, that's really nice. I haven't done this goal yet. and I kind of want to do this goal. Let's cycle that. Let's cycle that card, reveal this one. And it is illegal cargo, so I'm going to spend two grand and I'm going to buy this illegal cargo, put it in my smuggling compartment. Uh, cannot buy on Kessel. Right, so I'm now going to Kessel to deliver some stolen cargo. Reveal the top card of this deck and the Syndicate Patrol moves four, which is this one. One, two. That's fine. They don't mind me. It's just the Huts that don't like me. They used to like me, but not anymore. I'll probably upset them, uh, as I do. Right, what am I doing next? I have moved. I've done a market action. I am now doing a encounter step and I'm going to encounter the Black Sun agent. Hello again. Fancy meeting you here. Uh, test influence. Do I have any? I do have influence now. So I'm looking for any kind of success and I have it. So I now have that as a crew. So that counter can go temporarily out of the game because they might come in. If I leave this crew member on the planet, you put that card, that token back onto the planet, which is really cool. I like that. Um, 
Right, so I've got two crew members. I've got stealth, influence, strength, and tech. I need stealth, ship combat. I'm not great at ship combat. Maybe I should have bought that ship. Piloting, I don't have piloting. Ground combat, I'm not so great at that. This rebel prison break is going to be quite tough to do. Yeah, I just need to tool up a bit more. Right, over to Han Solo. Move towards closest goal, which is Kessel. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And unlike players, the AI player can go through the Maelstrom, which we can't. So, um, done that. If a cargo destination, deliver it. No. Oh, hang on a minute. He had a cargo to deliver at the Ring of Kafreen. Done it wrong again. Yeah, forgot about that. Uh, was that nearer? Well, possibly. Could have got both of them. All right, let's hang on a minute. They're both, well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, okay. so he's going to go to Kessel. He's going to go and do the Kessel run. I'm going to take the objective marker off now. Uh, and that's it. He just gets 10,002 fame. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to win this, am I? This is going to be a very quick game because Han Solo's already on six fame. He's done the Kessel run. Yeah. Ouch. I need to catch up. Um... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Shouldn't have done that just yet. First of all, should have bought one of these. Which ones? These ones. Yeah, bought one of these and placed it. Right, so he would have bought this. He can't buy this because he has already got a slot full. Right, that's this hasn't happened yet. So, buying stuff. Uh, the AI player will not buy a card if they do not have an empty slot matching the top card. They will not discard cards from slots to make space for new cards. Okay, so it just doesn't buy it. Yeah, I think it just doesn't buy it. Uh, the AI player does not have any matching slots. They will discard the top card regardless of whether that deck has any cards that can be placed in. Right, so before buying, the AI, uh, the AI player will discard the top card of the specified deck if any of the following apply. The AI player does not have any empty slots matching the top card. They will discard the top card regardless of whether that deck has any cards that can be placed in different slots. Yeah. So because it's told here to buy one of those cards, that's cargo, doesn't have any open slots. It does discard that, cycle through. Does it buy that? No, it doesn't buy that. So that's it. Next, negative reputation with the patrol. No, if at a job destination, complete it, done. And then special. Oh, we've done the reshuffle again. It's, it's, it's come in. It's coming early. So we get one of them. One of them. Oh, Mandalorian armor. Nice. And then that gets shuffled in. Right. Back to me. I'm on two fame. Han Solo's on six. We're only playing to eight because we're playing the short game. Normal game is to 10. Uh, long game is to 12. Yeah. Right. Got that. Got me stealth. Got me influence. Ship combat, I'm not that good at. I, I need another job. I need a bounty. I need to find Boshek. Now, where is Boshek? I should have gone here. What in, What did I do when I was here? Because I've been here. I think I forgot to do my encounter step. Oh, no, that was the... Um, yeah, where I delivered that um, illegal cargo and I ended my turn, so I didn't get the encounter step. Okay, so let's do it. Let's go. Let's go here as movement. Uh, market action. I could get rid of this job and just do another one. I could, but I don't know whether I want to. Or I could just buy some extra money and buy this super, super ship. There, let's do that. Let's buy this ship. So my ship is worth 10 grand. That costs 15. So I'm going to spend five grand. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, and I'm going to buy the Aggressor Class Assault Fighter. Which is... That one. Okay, so the Aggressor Class Assault Fighter. That goes on there. I've still got five. I now have a new ship goal, which is to win two combats against patrols. Right, I can do that. I can go to, and start hunting down patrols because my com ship combat strength is now five. Oh, and I can have another mod. 
Nice. Right, let's reveal that. Okay, this is starting to look a bit better now. So that was my market action. I've done that. Now in my encounter step, I'm going to encounter this green token here, and it is Boshek. Yes! I'm going to fight Boshek. Even though he's three and I'm three. Well, let, let's do it. So I don't have any gear that makes my fighting better. I've not seen any gear yet, apart from this armour. Need some weapons. There's lots of weapons in here, just haven't come across them. Right, okay, so me fighting Boshek. I've scored two hits. Boshek fighting me scores two hits. I think I win. Uh, frequently overlooked rules. Okay, we're okay. I didn't forget any of them. Right, combat. Pretty sure the attacker wins in combat. I just want to double check. Uh, which is interesting, because in a lot of games, defender wins ties. Resolving combat. Uh, if either player has an effect, the winner is the player that rolled the most damage. If both players roll the same damage, the attacker wins. Yes! Right, so I can either eliminate him, 6,000 credits and one fame, or deliver the token to Nal, Nal Hutter to get 8,000 credits and two fame. I am going to have to go for the two fame because, yeah, after you gain a reward from this card, remove it from the game. Ah, so it stays as a bounty, but I've captured him and I put that token, I believe, on here. Let's just check that. Bounties. Um, place the token on the bounty card. Right, so that goes there and it stays as a bounty. Right, okay, so now I've got to go back to Nell Hutter. So I need to go there anyway. Right, cool. That was my encounter step. Right, done. Over to Han Solo. Is he going to cheat again? What's he going to do? Right, so he needs to go to the Ring of Kefreen. And that's it. I've not missed anything this time. So he's going to go one, eight spaces towards the Ring of Kefreen. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he's arrived on Tatooine. If a cargo, deliver it, no, buys a ship. He buys that, but it won't buy one, which is a cheaper ship. So I think what it does is it cycles it. Uh, they are buying, and the top card does not cost more. Yes, so it will cycle it and see what we get. We get unused ship for sale, uh, the used ship for sale. So it does, uh, it's only got 2,000 credits, so it doesn't bother buying another ship. Right, encounter step. Uh, no, doesn't have that. If at a job destination, complete it. No, gain 4,000 credits. I'll take a five and give one back. Uh, and lose one reputation with this planet's faction, which is the Huts. Everybody like uh, everybody's upset the Huts. Right, that's the AI players done. My go. I'm off. I'm gonna have to go. Right, I need to go to Kessel to deliver the cargo. Nell Hutter and then Takadana. Right, let's do this. I'm moving six. Um, I also could just go around and start blowing up patrols because that gets you money. And if I blow up two patrols, I get a fame. Hmm, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have ended on a nav point. Uh, which means I don't get to do any of the actions. Yeah, you can only do these actions, the market and the cargo and everything else, if you're on a planet. So that's fine, but in the encounter step, I am going to fight a patrol. So I'm going to choose to fight a patrol. I don't have to. Uh, if I was at negative reputation, I would have to, but I'm not, but I'm going to choose to anyway. I have a combat strength of five. Oh, I've got this ability. I forgot, once per combat, you can re-roll any number of your dice. Oops. Well, I still won anyway, so I think I'm okay. Yeah. So I am going to choose once per combat, re-roll any number of your dice. I've got four hits there. Four hits. Um, and that patrol is three. One hit. So I've defeated the patrol. When you defeat a patrol, you lose a reputation with that particular faction. You remove it from there. That's removed from the game. I get the reward printed on it, which in this case is 5,000 credits. Uh, I'm still there. Where was I? Here? Yeah, I think it was there. Uh, and then the new one appears. 
I think it appears there. Is that right? Uh, patrols, patrols, patrols. Encountering a patrol. If you win, lose one reputation, gain the reward listed, spawn a new patrol, draw the top token, put it face up on the space adjacent to the stack of tokens. Yes. Um, now, I have done a combat against a patrol. So I'm going to put a, a goal marker on there to show that I have done that once. And that was my encounter step, so that is my go done. Right, Han Solo, what does he do? He's trying to go to the Ring of Kafreen, so he does one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, do all that apply. If cargo destination, deliver it. If cargo is illegal, yes it is. Lose one reputation with this planet's faction, which is, there isn't one. There's no planet's faction there, so he just delivers the cargo and gets, 9,000 credits and one fame. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. I think he's going to win next turn. Yeah. Delivering stolen hyperfuel. So naughty. Naughty. Next. If all cargo slots are full, buy one of those. No. Otherwise, buy one of those. So he buys some food supplies. So spends 1,000 credits. Buy, so he's not going to win the game by delivering food supplies, is he? No, because that's just gets reputation. Uh, he now needs to go to Nal Hutter. We all need to go to Nal Hutter for so many reasons. This card should have been revealed. And the Imperial Patrol moves three towards Han Solo, which is this one. One, two, three. Going away from me. Encounter step. Do the following that applies. Oh dear, he's already won. Yep, yeah, spend 8,000 credits. To gain one fame. I tell you what, I'm going to play to 10. There you go. So if we were playing the short game, would have won. I'm going to play the normal game. Um, even though I am so far behind. <laughs> He's on eight, I'm on two. Wow. And it does say in the rule book that there's like expert rules because you find the AI too easy. Unless I'm playing a rule wrong or I'm just terrible at the game. Um, anyway, right. He's done. My go. I am going to go to Nal Hutter. Can I get there? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I can. Now, why did I want to go? Lots of reasons. Deliver Boshek. Yes. So, action step. Deliver cargoes and bounties. Deliver Boshek. Here we go. Uh, so, 8,000 credits and two fame. Right, that's a little better. And I have a load of money. Remove that from the game. Remove that from the game. Delivered. Anything else I can do while I'm here? Oh, I forgot to go to Kessel. Oops. Oh, well, I'll go to Kessel on the way back. Why have I got another token for Nal Hutter? Uh, well, I know you want to go to Nal Hutter. Oh, was that my gold token? I think that was my gold token. Yeah. So what else can I do while I'm here? I could buy something. Now, I've got loads of money, and there is Mandalorian armor. Mandalorian armor is pretty cool. When you gain the reward from a bounty... You may reduce the bounty's credit to nothing to gain one additional fame. Oh, 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 wait a minute. You can do these in any order. Right. Okay. Rewind. I'm not going to deliver the bounty just yet. So I don't have the 8,000 credits and I don't have the two fame. So the first thing I'm going to do is market action. I'm going to buy the Mandalorian armor, which costs 10 grand. There you go. I am now wearing... Mandalorian armor. Reveal the top card of the deck. No patrols move. Then I will deliver the bounty. So my health has gone up to like seven. When you gain the reward from a bounty, you may reduce the bounty's credit reward to nothing. So instead of getting the 8,000 credits to gain one additional fame. So I get three fame. Wowzers. Right, okay, let's do that. It's a bit risky because I've got no money at all. The Rebels don't like me, the Huts don't like me, but I am wearing Mandalorian armor, which is cool. Right, uh, am I done or do I get an encounter? Yeah, that's all of the action step. So in the encounter step, I could do another one of these. Oh, I could do it. I could take the Wanted now and I could go there and I could attack Han Solo because Han Solo has got negative Hut reputation 
Okay, let's take that, that's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is my encounter action to activate the ability of W1LE, which is perform a market action, even if you are at nav point or you perform the action during your action step. And I'm gonna take wanted. Han Solo is wanted by the huts. And even though the huts don't like me, I'm gonna do this job for them. Reveal this card. The hut patrol moves four. Where's the hut patrol? Here. Uh oh, they're coming after me. One, two, three, four. Right, I also need another droid. Hmm. Right, I think that's my go done. So, Han Solo, what's he gonna do? He's got some cargo to take to Nal Hutter. I think that's gone. Keep forgetting to remove these. Can he get to Nal Hutter, which is eight? He can. One, two, three, four. Can't go through here. It's negative reputation, but he can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hello. Yeah, so he goes to Null Hutter, um, deliver cargo. If it's illegal, it's not. So he gets 5,000 credits. Oh no, he gets a hut reputation. He's now friends with them again, which means my job doesn't work. Destination, a space containing another player that has at least one negative reputation. Rats. <laughs> Never mind, they were, he was wanted by the huts. But suddenly he's delivered some food supplies for them and they've decided to call it off. So he's no longer wanted. That's a bit of a problem. I've now got this bounty. I'm just going to scrap it. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. Right. Uh, next, if all job slots are full, buy one of those. Otherwise, buy one of those. So it buys one of these. It's got a job to do an imperial favour at Ryloth. Okay, Ryloth is here. The Empire wants them to prevent an arms dealer from meeting rebel operatives on Ryloth. Mm. Okay. Encounter step. Uh, no, if a job destination completed, no. Reveal the face down contact token of the lowest class of the planet and gain its crew for free. So here, it reveals this one. So Ponder Baba. Yep, put that there. Data bank card number 20. And it gains that crew for free. Is it a droid? No, it's not. Oh, it's that guy. Yeah, it's the guy from the cantina. Uh, okay, my go. So are we gonna go to Kessel and deliver these stolen supplies? Because I can't do this now. And I, I still don't think I can, I mean, I can do the ship combat. I'm good at the ship combat. I can do the ground combat and I've got stealth. What I don't have is I don't have piloting, but I've got to do this at some point. Where is this Imperial Patrol? It's there. And that would be completing a job while I had cargo. Oh no, that's a different one. It's a different one. I mean, I could just go around blowing up patrols because blowing up this patrol gets a fame, but it's so far away. Shall we just go to Kessel? Let's just go to Kessel. Yeah, do need some droids. Can't seem to find any droids. Anywhere, I mean, I've got W1 LE. Yeah, I need another droid. Right, so, one, two, three. Oh, it's the Maelstrom. You've got to stop when you go to the Maelstrom. Let's do it. Let's stop in the Maelstrom. I think that's how the Maelstrom works. Uh, Maelstrom, movement. Movement rules, interrupting movement. Uh, Where is it? Additional rules. Jobs, bounties. Huh. If you move into the mail from space, you must stop moving, end your planning step and proceed to your action step. Okay, yeah, so I've stopped moving. Action step, I don't have an action. Hang on a minute, did I do a job? I did a job and I should have increased the reward, but then I reduced the reward to zero. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I forgot I had a special ability on the Black Sun agent. Um, so I don't do an action step because I'm in, I'm in space. So I do an encounter step and I'm gonna resolve an encounter card and I'm gonna resolve the encounter card of the Maelstrom. Uh, a gravity well is pulling you backward. If you could lose some weight, you might escape unscathed. You may discard one of your cargo or mods to take an additional turn. 
If you do not discard a card, move one space and your ship suffers one damage. Move one space. So, so that means I, I can move there. See, I don't want an additional turn. Oh, I do want an additional turn because that will get me to Kessel. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to discard... I'm going to discard these back to supplies. So I'm just going to throw them out of the airlock in order to take an additional turn. Okay. And yeah, basically you get an additional, an entire additional turn, I believe. Maelstrom, page 10, rules reference guide. Um, draw an encounter card. It always provides a way to play to get an extra turn. Uh, when you get an extra turn, you resolve another turn, the whole thing. You cannot gain an additional turn while you're resolving an additional turn. Yeah, it's fine. Right, so I get an additional turn. So what am I going to do? I'll move. I'll move to Kessel. Then I will deliver the stolen cargo. So I have to roll. Roll the die. Oh. It's that again. So I resolve card one. This smuggling compartment has been no help to me at all. And we have... Uh, right, um, resolve the ro right. The rebellion needs this cargo more than you. You may lose one rebel reputation to deliver this cargo and end your turn. Otherwise, end your turn. Now I can't lose one rebel reputation. Yeah, I think that's how that works. Reputation as a cost. I don't think I can lose it if I am already at. Uh, the bottom. If you gain reputation, if you lose reputation, move your a player who has negative reputation loses more. Their reputation remains negative. They cannot lose any more reputation. If a player is instructed to set, yeah, reputation can affect. Okay, so can I? I'm going to say yes. Again, tell me if I'm wrong. But I am going to lose a reputation, but I don't lose any reputation. And I deliver the cargo. So I've delivered the stolen supplies to Kessel. I get one fame and 7,000 credits. But my turn ends, which means I don't get to do an encounter step. Okay. Um, but that's just the way it is. Right, okay. Han Solo, what are you going to do? Where are you trying to go? You're trying to go to Ryloth. Because that's the only place you've got a job for. Can you get to Ryloth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can. Git. Um, oh, I haven't flipped the card over. Right. If a cargo destination deliver it, no. Oh, I should have revealed that. I keep forgetting these things. Uh, if a cargo did no, buy one of those. So it buys one of these, which is a rebel favor job. So it's got an imperial favor and a rebel favor. He doesn't know who's working for. So imperial patrol moves three, which is this one towards Han. One, two, three. Uh, now has a goal on Lothal. Where's that? There. So he's got an imperial favor at Ryloth and a rebel favor at Lothal. Right. Okay. Encounter step. Uh, where is he? Is it Ryloth? So he does that. If negative reputation with the patrol in this space, no. Spend 8,000 credits to gain one fame. Yeah, so he's not doing the job. No, it doesn't say do the job, so it doesn't do the job. What it does do is it spends 8,000 credits to gain one fame. So he's now nine. I need to get four, reputate, four fame before Han gets one. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Right. Done. My go. Here we go. I'm at Kessel. That job's useless. Right. Let's let's move. Can I get to the Imperial Patrol? I don't think I can. My movement is six. No, and I don't have anything else. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So close. I mean, I could go to the Maelstrom and just pray for another turn. 
yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. So I go to the Maelstrom, uh, and I say, yep, yeah, let's, let's let's draw the Maelstrom card. Uh, the nebula's gases render your sensors ineffective. Test piloting or tech. If you pass, take an additional turn. I have tech. So let's see if we get it. We do. I've got a success. So I get an additional turn. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five. Right, now my action step while I'm here is going to be, what am I going to do in my action step? I have 7,000 credits. I could have another crew, but I can't afford it. Um, I could take some of those, but... Uh, Okay, let's let's spend two thousand credits on some more stolen weapons, which I need to deliver to Tatooine. Put them in my amazingly useful smuggling compartment that seems to have a big sign on it saying "illegal cargo here." Right now, in my encounter step, I am going to choose to resolve this job, and we've not resolved any jobs before. This is a really cool part of the game, um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Resolve an encounter card. Encounter. So I'm going to do the Rebel Prison Break. I need to be at the Imperial Patrol's space, which I am. And I resolve card 47. Okay, so 47. Here we go. Rebel Prison Break. Right, card 47. You identify the Imperial ship and attempt to approach undetected. First, test stealth. Now, I do have the stealth skill, so let's see if I pass. I do, which means I skip to step four. Awesome. So actually, I miss that bit. I don't have to fight the TIE fighters, and then I don't have the pilot. So I go straight to step four, which is you dock with the Imperial ship and find your way to the cell block. That's when the stormtroopers arrive. Find a, fight a ground combat against stormtroopers with a uh, ground combat value of three. My ground combat is three, but I am wearing Mandalorian armor, which actually doesn't give me any bonuses, but I can re-roll because I am IG-88. So three dice for me. Right, I can re-roll any number of your dice. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to re-roll these two. Come on. Right, I have got two hits. The Stormtroopers, my well, Stormtroopers always miss. I don't know why we're bothering rolling, but Stormtroopers got two hits. Well, hang on a minute. When I took two hits earlier on, I should have taken two damage. I forgot about that. Yeah, okay. So yeah, earlier on, when I took damage in combat, I should have taken the damage. In fact, was it ground combat or was it ship combat? I can't remember. What did I do? I fought Boshek and I beat him. And I also fought the patrol. And I can't remember if the patrol, let, let's say the patrol hit me for two damage as well. I can't remember. But yes, yeah, sorry, I should have taken damage. Anyway, this time I've taken two damage, which is normally enough to kill me, but I'm wearing the Mandalorian armor. And I have defeated the stormtroopers. If you win and you are not defeated, complete this job. Yes. Right, reward. Lose one Imperial reputation. Bop. Gain two fame. I'm on eight. And one rebel reputation. And remove this card from the game. Nice. Uh, and that might as well go as well, because we don't need that one. Whew. I did it. Now, that wasn't a combat against the patrol. Was it? I don't think it was. No. But I might just blow the patrol up because that gets me a fame as well. Right. It's all very tense here. I'm forgetting so many rules. I forgot to reveal that as well. <laughs> Rebel patrol moves four. I can't even remember who that was towards. Never mind. Right. I might lose this turn anyway. What is Han Solo going to do? Move towards closest goal. So he's got a goal on Ryloth, which is where he is. So he doesn't move. If a cargo, deliver it. No. Encounter step. If a job destination, com complete it. He has a job and he completes it and he gains. Oh, this is great because he doesn't win. He gets 5,000 credits and he gets an Imperial reputation. If he had Imperial reputation, 
he would have lost one Rebel reputation and gained a fame instead. As it was, he's just done a favour for them. And that's it. There was nothing else there. So it's back to me. How do I get to fame very, very quickly? I don't think I do. No, I do. I blow this up, but I can't get there. Oh, that me forgetting to move that card with that might have been... Oh, well, yeah, because if that had been my card, it would have moved one, two, three, four, and then I could have got it. Anyway, I've made so many rules mistakes. Uh, this is why I don't play solo games generally, because I make so many mistakes. Right, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Are we just going to blow this up? Because the Imperials, they don't like me anyway. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stay here. I'll get 2,000 credits. Um, I mean, I could heal all my damage. But I don't think I want to. I think I'm fine. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Right. Um, as a market action, I am going to take this bounty. Which is to find green... No, let, let's cycle the card, because there might be a better one. There is. And then I'm going to take this bounty. So I've got to find Garindan, wherever it is. He, she, I don't know. It's that spy thing from uh, Star Wars A New Hope. Anyway, I've done that. Reveal this card. No patrols move. That was my market action done. Then as my encounter, I am going to choose to fight this patrol. So... Um, I would have had to have anyway because I'm at negative reputation with the Imperials and that's where they are. So yeah, let's let's fight them. How did my reputation go down with the Imperials? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, I'm at five. And I've scored four damage because I've got two critical hits. So I've done four damage to them. They get three dice on me. No hits whatsoever. So I don't take any more damage. That is defeated. I get 5,000 credits. I have completed two combats against patrols. My Imperial reputation goes down by one, but it can't. New patrol appears. But because I have done my ship goal, the ship flips over, and it is now IG-2000, which is basically slightly better. And it can have two crew there, and it can have a bounty here. Nice. And I've got a long range iron cannon. So when you win a combat against the patrol, do not lose reputation. Oh, because I blow them up from a distance. Nicely done. Um, did I gain a fame for that? I think I did. Yes, gain a fame. So I'm on nine as well. There we go. That's a bit closer. I'm happier with that. Even though I did cheat. And forget some things. Right, what are we going to do? Uh, it's on Ryloth. Oh, it did the thing on Ryloth. It's going to Lothal. Yeah, that's the only job it's got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't get to Lothal. Can get to me. Uh, cargo destination. Nope. Buy one of these cards. So it takes this job on which is Relic of the Past on Mon Calamari. So it'll go there next time. The Hut Patrol moves three. One, two, three. Uh, ah, he's not an enemy of the Huts anymore. Uh, spend 8,000 credits to gain one fame. And it has 8,000 credits, just, just has 8,000 credits, gains fame, wins the game. There you go. So Han Solo wins with 10 fame. I ended up with nine. That was really close. I would have hopefully managed to get an extra fame on my turn. One, two, three, four. Maybe not, but it's all about if only. Anyway, yeah, I hope you found this video useful. Again, as I mentioned at the start, this wasn't a commission video. The only reason I've done this video is thanks to the support of my Patreon campaign. So if you want to see more videos like this, then please consider supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. And thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters that allow me the the extra time needed to basically create these playthroughs. I hope you found it useful. Sorry about the rules mistake that I made, but you got a good feel of how the game played. Um, and that's it. So next, I'm going to film my review of it. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.
Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.